Hi there and uh, welcome back uh, to the Floss Marketing School. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to talk about uh, Matomo Tag Manager Tag Templates. And um, the idea is uh, to explain you a little bit more how does it work. And first of all, I would like to thank Lucas Wickler because he's the one who really helped me out uh, troubleshooting, um, let's say, the documentation of um, Matomo Analytics. So. What do we mean by tag templates? Actually, tag templates, when we talk about tag manager, is one of the key uh, marketing thing that um, vendors are using in order to promote uh, the abilities for their tag manager uh, to support many solutions. So for example, if you take here the example of uh, Google Tag Manager, as you can see, they are supporting many different templates uh, from different solutions. And if you look at uh, Matomo Analytics, you will see uh, that they are not uh, supporting that much uh, tags. So you may think that actually um, Matomo, is, Matomo Tag Manager is not that much uh, developed, but the big difference is that Matomo Tag Manager, or let's say Matomo Analytics in general, is a free software. So to say, you can easily uh, plug any templates on your own without being dependent of uh, the Matomo team, for example, or at least uh, the company uh, developing uh, Matomo Analytics. So, so to say, with a proprietary solutions such as Google Analytics, such as Google Tag Manager, you are trapped and you have to wait for uh, Matomo Tag Manager to the Google Tag Manager to develop those additional uh, templates. In the case of uh, Matomo Tag Manager, you have the full end on it. And this is what I'm gonna explain you uh, today. Uh, so uh, yes, let's get started. So first of all, uh, what you will need is the official documentation of the Matomo team. And I have to say that once more, the documentation is really, really well done. So uh, if you read carefully uh, what you have uh, on this page, you will be able uh, to develop your first tag. So this is exactly uh, what we're gonna do in this tutorial. I'm gonna just um, follow the official documentation of uh, Matomo Analytics, and we're gonna see how that works. So in order to create a new uh, tag template, so in order to create a new entry, for example, here under Analytics, um, so uh, this is clearly what we are doing here. We are creating a new tag over here. Um, so what you need to do is that uh, you need to access to the console. Um, by the way, some people may ask, okay, why do you bother creating a new template when you can use the custom HTML? Well, the point is that you create new template in order to secure your infrastructure because uh, the custom HTML is probably not the tag that you would like to activate for your marketing and communication team because they may uh, enter some malicious script uh, without knowing it. Whereas actually when you create uh, a known template for your marketing or communication team, uh, there are of course a uh, few uh, possibilities for them to make some error because the only thing that they could fill in are the, let's say the field that you leave uh, empty for them. Okay, uh, so the first thing that you need to do is that you need to execute uh, the following line of code uh, through the console. So what the console is about. So the console is uh, what you can access to when you go, in my case, I'm gonna go like this. Uh, so when you access to your Matomo on your server, so for this, you need an access to your server. You will see that you have a, a program which is called the console, which is located at the root level of your Matomo uh, installation. Typically, that's the console that you use when you create a plugin, when you execute a script in order to import data within Matomo. And in our case, uh, we're gonna execute this line and we need to be in uh, sudo in order to do it. So then uh, it's asking you for the name of your plugin. Uh, in fact, uh, when you create a new tag in Matomo Tag Manager, you are not creating a new plugin. You are in fact uh, using an, uh, an existing plugin, which is the Tag Manager. Okay, so that's why you need here to enter Tag Manager. Then um, you need to enter the name of your tag. Uh, here in the case of uh, the example of Matomo, they use the one which is pop-up. Uh, in my case, I already created it. So I'm just gonna probably just create a second one, which is called uh, like, um, like let's say like floss example okay so let's uh, let's go for something which is named floss okay and that's it um so once you have done this um your tag has been created with an empty skeleton and in order to access this skeleton what you need to do is that you need to access to plugin then you need to access to tag manager and then when you access to the tag manager folder if you make a list and if you access to the template folder, you will see uh, within the type folder 
the list of the different tags which have been uh, created. So here, as you can see, uh, we are seeing the floss tags which are over here. Uh, so, so they are uh, already filled in with default data. And uh, you can see as well the other uh, template which are over here, which for example, uh, can really help you uh, speed up the process. So let's imagine, for example, that you will jack to create a basic tag such as the one of uh, the Google Analytics tag, which is just composed of two fields. So that's, uh, that's the one, okay. Uh, as you can see, it's just a property in the track, uh, tracking type field. Uh, you can easily just have a look at what this uh, template look like. And then you have a basic idea about um, how far you need to go in order to define the template. So to say almost uh, nothing to not, nothing very very special to to do in order to create a, a new template. You can even so copy and paste an existing one, and then uh, it will help you uh, speed up in the process. So uh, once you create your tags such as I did, um, so tags ls. As you can see, uh, two files have been created, a PHP file and a web.js file. So web.js file is the one which is carrying the, the JavaScript. And the PHP one is where you set uh, what's going to appear within uh, this given uh, UI. Um, so this is what they are telling you here. So pop up tag.php. I'll let you define the example of category of the tag and blah, 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 the parameters and so on and so forth. So uh, in my case, for example, if I just access to my um, to my file, the PHP one, uh, so the floss tag, floss tag, and if I look at it, so floss, uh, so I'm just gonna do it, like this. So get it, get it, and floss tag, and the PHP. Okay, so this is my tag. Uh, so as you can see, uh, I have a bit of information over here. Um, and it's telling me, for example, to which category do you want this uh, given uh, tag to belong to. So, for example, I could uh, make it belong to the analytics part. So these things are giving given one example here down below. Yes, example. Uh, so I can put it within analytics. Uh, so, for example, if I switch it and I put it like category analytics, like this. Uh, so let's move back over here. So it was category custom. And if I put category analytics, okay, like this, and that I save my file. Um, so I give it the name, which is floss. Um, I'm going to give it the name. Uh, I'm going to give a bit more information here. Um, so if I need da, 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 da. Um, okay, and I'm just going to leave it as it is at the moment. Okay, so if I go back over here, click on tags, you will see that uh, a new tag appear uh, under the analytics part, which is the floss one. You see, this tag has just appeared because I just uh, I just created it. And if I click on it, I will get an access to the empty skeleton that um, the Matomo team designed for you. So this is um, this is what you have here uh, down below. So that's the possibility to define. Uh, the different parameters that you want. So by default, this tag that they created for you is uh, what we call a pixel tag, where you can insert uh, the pixel that you would like to uh, to fire. But you can, of course, uh, customize all of this. And that's the example that they are giving you here uh, down below. Uh, so specifying parameters. Here they are giving you, in fact, example of how you can easily create uh, a uh, pop-up tag in order to add uh, some text to your um, uh, to your um, to your website. So um, that's what I created over here. So I just followed uh, the tutorial that they gave, and I decided to create a, a tag. And this tag uh, was named. Uh, um, so I created a new category which is named my own tag, which is the, the pop-up tag. And as you can see here, uh, you can easily uh, insert whatever text that you want. So hey guys, I'm showing you uh, this example of a tag which acts as a pop-up. And if I want this tag to be fired, for example, when after a specific amount of time, uh, let's say like a timer, and let's say that after uh, five seconds, I want this tag to fire and show a pop-up. 
it will then uh, show and pop up on my on my website. So I'm just gonna publish it. Go pop up. Go pop up. And in fact, here according to the settings that I define within this uh, PHP file, so not this one, but this one. Um, so, so pop up. Tag PHP. Okay, so according to uh, what I insert within this given file, and in addition to that, um, there is another file that you need to uh, edit, which is the JavaScript file. And here in the Matomo documentation, they define like this tag uh, has to be in fact uh, a banner. Uh, which will be displayed at the bottom, which will be a 10 pixel padding, 10 pixel background of a specific color, which is red in my case. I'm just gonna maybe just modify this a little bit. If not, it will appear exactly at the same position as another one. Uh, okay, and uh, yeah, so as a result, if I go on my page after, um, so we said after five seconds, I should see uh, my pop-ups coming in while well, you see that. Hi guys, I'm showing you this example of a tag which acts as a pop-up. So here I got my tag which have been displayed, which have been um, totally created from scratch by just uh, taking out uh, the documentation of Matomo. So to say, you can easily uh, create any template that you want, uh, give them the name that you want. You can as well edit existing tags. So let's imagine, for example, that um, you have this given tag. Uh, right here which is the google analytics tag as you can see uh, the google analytics tag does not have any logo yet in this version of matomo but you are free to go and grab your own uh, your own logo so for example here let's imagine that i would like to add this uh, given logo so i can copy the image location and then if i go uh, within the the tag which is the one of google analytics so it's this one so they get it and it's Google Analytics and in PHP. Okay, uh, I can go over here and I can decide to change the uh, the URL, which is going to be changed. Uh, so it's not in the tracking type for the ID. Get parameters. Um, <laughs> oh, I think it's on the JSON file. So uh, you have a file which is the JSON one probably is just uh, one level up. Okay, base templates. Um, um, so they are mentioning it within the documentation that you get. It's under so tag manager and language. Okay, so um, sudo language. And then uh, you edit the file that you want. So in my case, I'm going to edit the English one. So sudo get it, the English one. Okay, and here you can just go and grab the one about Google Analytics. Uh, so that's the one. And um, so we should have a URL somewhere. So just still digging. Okay, interesting. There's no um <laughs> there's no url but there's a part when you can just change um the url and add your logo that's definitely what i did over here for the pop-up and as you can see i get my uh, i get my logo file so let me just uh, get so that's the floss tag and i get the pop-up one pop-up description tag for help okay well, funny. You can change your. You can change your um, your URL somewhere, your image somewhere in order to have it. Um, just to let you know as well that you have a lot of contributors uh, who already uh, created some uh, templates which are not appearing here. So that's typically the case of Lucas. Uh, Lucas, for example, on his uh, on his. Um, on the on its pull request uh, created all those different uh, tags that you can see uh, over here and if uh, you click uh, on some of them 
you will see that um, actually the PHP file have been uh, already uh, created. So if let's say you would like to get them and insert them for your uh, time manager, you can easily just take uh, the JavaScript file that they created and already have a look if it works for you. And that's everything that I wanted to show you uh, today. So just to let you know, it's really easy to extend the list either of categories, either of logo, either of template. You just need to put your hand within the official uh, Matomo documentation and then just start uh, to write your own template. And then as a result, you will get an exhaustive list of template. So as in Google Tag Manager and any other Tag Manager platform. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.